Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. I just showed you a video on how to smooth out the skin in your portraits using the new Portrait Magic Action Set. But now I want to show you how to brighten and even the skin, conceal the um, dark circles or bags under the eyes, and also how to use the blush brush. I'm going to go to Window actions to bring up my actions and you can see here they are. I've got the Portrait Magic Skin Set open. I just showed you Magic Skin Smoother but now I'd like to show you the Bright and Even. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and press play. You can see it's a black layer mask. I want to be sure that I have a white foreground color set and choose the brush tool. I'm going to take the brush opacity down to about 20% which is a good starting point. And I'm just going to brush over the skin. A little bit of shadows going on. I think that's probably enough. You can see the before and after. It's just brightened up a little bit. And let's actually just take out, take a look at the original image. That's the original. And this is now. Um, so we use the Brighten Even. Now I'd really like to show you the Under Eye Concealer. This is a really great tool and it's completely customizable. You can see that once I play it, two layers come up, eye number one and eye number two. The reason for this is because each eye doesn't always have the same color profile. So I'm going to go ahead, either eye can be eye one or eye two. So I'm going to choose this one as eye one. Make sure that I click on the uh, layer mask when I want to brush on. But right now what we want to do is select the color that is going to um, match her skin tone. So double click on that box. You can see the color picker comes up. And um, this is kind of the area that we want to brush away right here. So we want to choose a tone that is close to that area, um, but that will help it to blend. And I think this right here, this color looks pretty good to me. Um, and we can always change that in just a minute. Press OK. Now select the layer mask. Make sure that you have the white foreground color selected in the brush tool. Now it's on 21%, which is a good starting spot. And we're just going to brush over the area just a couple times. Um, the key here is to make sure that it looks natural and not um, photoshopped in any way. Let's take a look at the before and the after. It looks like her, just a little bit lighter. Okay, let's choose eye number two. We're going to do the same process, double click. We're going to pick a color that looks good. And this looks good to me right here. Press OK. Click the layer mask. And then we're just going to go over the area and try to blend it in just a little bit. Take the opacity down just a little bit to maybe 10% 10, 10 and just blend around this area. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. And actually, this looks a little bit too dark to me. So if you've already brushed it on and it looks too dark for you, go ahead and go back to the color picker here and just pick the image for, that's too light. Just pick around to see what the best option is for you. Nope. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to go with that. If you feel like the effect is a little bit too much, if you brush it on too many times, don't feel like stepping back. Um, go ahead to the master opacity slider for this layer and drag it down. Sometimes what I like to do is drag it down to zero and then up just a little until it looks better. And again, the goal here is not to stamp out all of those wrinkles um, and dark circles, but just to brighten it up a little bit, even it out with their skin tone and make it look just a little bit better. Um, just looking at it right now, I feel like this is a little bit dark. I'm going to go back to eye number one, select, um, and then just pick around for a little bit. That's better. That's a lot better. Okay. Now let's just take a look at the before and the after. 
before, after, before, after. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. Let's go ahead and use the blush brush. That's one of my favorites. Select it and press play. Um, what we're going to do, there's a couple different techniques for this. Um, definitely make sure that you have the brush tool selected with the white foreground color and you have the layer mask selected. You're going to make your brush fairly large, um, about like that to fit on your image, and probably 14% uh, opacity is a good starting point. So you're going to just brush it on wherever you want. Okay, That's one technique, to brush it on as it is. Here is um, another technique that I like. Um, go ahead and double click, and we're going to just pick a color from our outfit so that it matches a little bit better. I really like this um, bright pink, so I'm going to press OK. Now that's way too much, so I can lower the master opacity here, take it down to zero, bring it back up until it looks right. I would say color-wise, that looks okay. Um, the other thing that we can do is go ahead and take it back up to 100 and then put it on a different blending mode. So overlay looks like that. Soft light looks like that. Probably uh, soft light looks good and then we can just raise and lower the master opacity again until it looks Okay, that looks good to me. It's just a nice hint of color. Um, I can say that just looking right here, it looks like I've um, just gone outside of where I should have. So I'm going to hit the layer mask again and switch to a black foreground color, and this will take the effect away. And then I'll just brush over right here where I think I took it too far. All right, let's check out the before and the after. That's before, and that's after. And that is uh, Brush on Smooth Skin, the Magic Skin Smoother, Bright and Even on the face. That is Under Eye Concealer on two eyes, and also the blush brush. I hope that you found this video helpful, and you can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.